Welcome to McNulty's Book Corral. In my last episode, I talked about Preston and Child, who are contemporary best-selling authors. Well, in this episode, I want to bring to your attention a best-selling author from the past, none other than Stuart Edward White, who in his day was equally as popular as Preston and Child are today. Now, the first of Stuart Edward White's books that I read was his biography of Daniel Boone, published in 1922. And Daniel Boone, Wilderness Scout, this book is very easy to find. It's an old book, even though it was published in 1922. It's not uncommon. Uh, I actually see it show up on eBay uh, all the time. You can find copies on ABE Books, books abooks.com, etc. It might even have been reprinted since then. Um, This is a biography that he wrote about Daniel Boone which takes as its sources the various other folk tales, sometimes mythologies, and basic facts that were available to him about Daniel Boone's life. It is not uh, annotated. There's no bibliography. There's no notes and references. It's a straight narrative. And what makes it interesting is that it's a good book. Stuart Edward White was a best-selling author in his time. You know, if you were a reader during this period, you knew who he was, uh, just as we know who Preston and Child are today. He's a forgotten author. And uh, the book is was beautifully done. It had end papers that looked like this. It was illustrated. I'll have a scan of the cover as well. There are um, black and white illustrations throughout uh, depicting Daniel Boone's life, as well as... Uh, color illustrations and color plates, which was something that was very popular with books, hardcover books, during this period. And these are sprinkled throughout the entire book. Here's a here's a beautiful black and white illustration, so you can see. So these books were put together back in those days with great care, and, and they were big sellers. This was obviously a bestseller, and it's a really good book to read. I would take the basic principles and facts about Daniel Boone's life with a grain of salt. You need to do that um, with all of the early biographies of Boone. However, a lot of that information is accurate. And in the episode that's coming next, I'm going to devote uh, an entire brief episode about the biographies of Daniel Boone that I think you'll find interesting where you can you can compare how they did it, uh, you know, including this one, Uh, And then, of course, there's a modern biography out there that follows all of the standard academic criteria for creating a bibliography and citing your references and notes, etc. That's in the next episode. But in this episode, we're starting out um, with one of my favorite old-time writers from the past, Stuart Edward White. 1873-1946 was his span here. And this was the first one I read. I read a biography before I read his adventure novels. I next read a book he did called The Mystery, which he co-wrote with Samuel Hopkins Adams. This is a modern, for the time, a modern pirate novel, a sea story. I love sea stories. And this was, again, a high adventure tale. High adventure during this period, um, 1907, you know, turn of the century, Prior to World War I, these types of stories were just being churned out left and right. They're fascinating to read. It really represents a lost world and so forth. Very well written. Now, the co-author on this, as I mentioned, is Samuel Hopkins Adams. Samuel Hopkins Adams was also a best-selling author during the same period. How they came to collaborate on this book, which is called The Mystery, I don't know. There's scant material available, biographical material, that I I can look into. Um, Perhaps at one point in the future, somebody will write a biography of both of these guys. Samuel Hopkins Adams is best known as the author who wrote the story, uh, which was made into a film called It Happened One Night in the mid-1930s, starring none uh, none other than... Excuse me, I must need a pint, you know, so I can talk properly today. I'll have to get something, you know clear the palate. Uh, <laughs> the film was called It Happened One Night with Clark Gable. Uh, modern, you know, one of the modern classic films. Um, anyway, Samuel Hap- Hop- Oh boy. 
can I speak English or what? You know, I'm going to leave all this in because I don't want to cut and, and start over talking again. Samuel Hopkins Adams was an interesting guy by himself. So this is a really good book, by the way. I think this is probably one of my favorite adventure novels from this period, which I talk about quite a lot in these episodes. And finally, The Leopard Woman by Stuart Edward White, uh, which was published in 1916. And this is a, another high adventure story. This one takes place in Africa. And this Africa was a fascinating place um, for authors to set their stories. It was really an unexplored virgin area, you know, and so they would go there and they would hunt. You know who really made that popular was a friend of Stuart Edward White, an interesting man that you may have heard of. His name was Theodore Roosevelt, and Theodore Roosevelt was a big game hunter, and his book, African Game Trails, um, recounted his expedition to Africa. Now, that's actually a great book to read because... Theodore Roosevelt himself was a really highly intelligent man and a great writer. Uh, all of his books are worth considering, too. I may do an episode just on Theodore Roosevelt uh, because he is another one of those endlessly fascinating. Obviously became president of the United States. Died way too young. If you ever get a chance, check out the footage, the film footage and audio recordings of Theodore Roosevelt addressing crowds. What a magnetic personality he was. Well, Theodore Roosevelt felt that his friend, Stuart Edward White, was one of the best shots that he ever saw with a rifle. Um, they were good friends. Uh, they hunted together at times. And uh, Stuart Edward White's other books involve the outdoors. He was a great outdoorsman. He wrote books about camping in the wilderness before such a thing was was popular. Of course, Theodore Roosevelt's great contribution to the American experience was the creation of the National Park Service. Without Theodore Roosevelt, none of that would have happened. And Stuart Edward White undoubtedly played a role in that influence. Um, the two men, again, were very good friends. So if you get a chance, check out The Leopard Woman if you can find a copy of this book. I'd love to see all of these books reprinted in nice editions uh, in the same manner that we saw um, Black Dog Books did the um, the reprint of The Spotted Panther by James Francis Dwyer. That was a different episode. Check that out as well. In the meantime, stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, read a book.